Your fatigue was enormous, the price for encountering pure evil. Hell was a place no mortal was meant to experience. Stupid military doctors, their tests and treatments were of little help. In the end, what did it matter? It was all classified and sealed. The nightmares continued. Demons, so many demons, relentless, pouring through, far away. The planetary policy was clear. An absolute quarantine was guaranteed by apocalyptic levels of radiation. The empty, dark corridors stand motionless, abandoned, the installations sealed. The present. A long-forgotten relay satellite barely executing, decayed by years of bombarding neutrons, activates and sends its final message to Earth. The satellite's message was horrific. From the planetary void there came energy signatures unlike anything sampled before. The classified archives are opened. The military episodes codenamed Doom were not actually completed. A single entity with vast rejuvenation powers, masked by the extreme radiation levels, escaped detection. In its crippled state, it systematically altered decaying dead carnage back into corrupted living tissue. The mutations are devastating. The demons have returned even stronger and more vicious than before. As the only experienced survivor of the Doom episode, your commission is reactivated. Your assignment is clear. Merciless extermination. Welcome, my friends, to the next walkthrough. This is Doom 64, the 100% walkthrough for the PC, played through Steam on the Watch Me Die difficulty setting. And today, we are in the first map of Doom 64. Map 1, Staging Area. Let's get to it. Alright, so the first thing I do is I back up so I can kill the two zombie men in the cages. But being careful not to destroy the barrel on this ledge. But we will destroy all the rest of the barrels in this map. Like that one. Now behind the starting door is a non-secret berserk pack. So we will grab that. And we'll grab the shotgun down below, which is very handy for the four shotgunners in this hallway. Now just wait here for a moment. The remainder of the two shotgunners will come for you eventually. And we can mow them down. Now halfway down the hallway and behind you, a demon will open up. So we'll just punch him in his meaty face and grab the medikits from where he came, if we need to. We'll take the first left into the regular door and kill more zombie men inside of here. And another barrel. Now, we'll take the left stairs first because that leads to a secret area with an armor. So make sure to grab that. Very nice to have. When you take the right stairs, be careful behind you because a couple of zombie men will open up. And no, you can't grab their clips from where they came. Sad face. But on the conveyor belts, you can flip a switch to open up a non-secret area with a chainsaw. Find some meat. Oh yes we will in this map. And this takes us to the familiar main hallway where we can continue down to the blue door but we need the blue key to go through it. Now opposite the blue door is this blood stain on the floor 
and you can open up a non-secret teleporter. But we will run down back to the main hallway because a couple of nasty, and I mean nasty shotgunners will spawn if you're out in the open. Oh, and by the way, that teleporter is a one-time teleporter. We can't retake it. So now about this lift. So what I do is I go up the lift and then fall back down immediately. Because there's four zombie men up there. And also a demon that will try and stop you. But once they're all dead, we can go back up the lift. But the first thing we're gonna do is kill a zombie man to the right and the left so they won't bother us while we destroy a barrel and grab some shotgun shells. Now we come to a maze of sorts, so what I do is I go to the right first to kill a few more zombie men until I come to this switch. We'll flip the switch and we'll back up immediately and go left to the blue key card. And we'll go to the right of the switch to kill even more zombie men. Yes, this map is just filled with zombie men everywhere. There is a secret on this wall without the circles on it, and it has a mega armor and another barrel. Another barrel. So many barrels. But we have the blue key card, which means we can go through the blue door to find even more zombie men, so we'll lay waste to them and blow up another barrel. Now on the left in the cages are more zombie men. On the right is another zombie man. And behind the cage, I think, or fence, I think is a shotgunner. Yeah. Now this door will be opened up later on, and you'll see how that will be. Oh, and also, there is a switch right here that we will come back to later for a secret area. Make sure to grab the armor bonuses here if you want all of the items. And make sure to have your chainsaw ready when you flip the switch, because we have lots of meat to carve our way through. Yes, isn't that just lovely? I think so. From where they came from, we have another barrel. And we can grab some medikits if we need them. And flip the switch to open up that door that we saw earlier, right here. So now, let's go down that mysterious lift that we see here for another barrel and some health bonuses, which we will gladly take. We can use this camera to see a supercharge in a secret area where that switch was that we skipped. We'll come back to that later. The supercharge. For now, we'll go through the next door. Oh yes, let's have our chainsaw ready. For this, actually, yeah, right here. Oh, yeah. There's a reason. There's a reason I'm killing the demons in the door jam. And that's why. To see the lovely jibs. When they're all dead, we can grab the items in this large room and go behind the wall for a couple of shotgunners who are guarding some armor bonuses, so we'll grab all of those for the item count. And through the exit door is a regular imp, the exit switch, and another barrel. Now yes, you could take the exit switch, but there's the matter of the secret exit, so we will go find that instead. Let's head back to that switch that we skipped. Right here. 
When you flip the switch, it will lower down the lift on the far right side over there. So we will run to it and stay on the lift to get the supercharge. Yay! We have it! We'll flip the switch and go back down, shoot the barrel, and go through the teleporter to get some magical ammo that just spawned mysteriously. Now about this last barrel. In the Berserk Room, you'll see the blood spatter on the floor. This is the secret exit, but it will only open up when the last barrel is destroyed. See? And it's timed, so get in quickly. Congratulations. You found... Hectic. Only the best will reap its rewards. Oh yes, this map coming up next. We are in the secret map, Hectic, which I feel is one of the hardest maps in the entire game, but we'll get to that next time. So just to clarify a bit on what I mean about the ten barrels that are in that map. Basically, you can destroy all the barrels in whatever order you want, but the tenth barrel, in no matter what order you want, will open up the secret teleporter. But the secret teleporter is timed, so that's why I saved the final barrel for last on the starting ledge, because it's in the closest distance to the secret teleporter, because you only get one chance to do it. If you don't make it into the secret teleporter in time, you will not be able to take the secret exit. So that's why I saved the last barrel, and that's why you want to save the last barrel, or at least a barrel that's close enough to the secret teleporter for you. Also, if you take the regular exit, you will notice you only have 75% secrets. And that's because there is one inaccessible secret. I don't know exactly where it is. I think it's actually inside of the switch that you take to lower down the lift to the supercharge. Though I'm not exactly sure. Maybe you guys can explain that more in the comment section below. But in any case, 100% secrets is not possible in that map, but that's okay. Next time, we will be in map 32, Hectic, the first secret map of this game. So until then, I'm Big Mac Davis here. I hope you're enjoying the walkthrough so far, and I'll see you then. So, take care, everybody. I'll see you in the next episode.